Having travelled north, near to Inverness, to take part in Scotland's first ever housing expo, we were excited to showcase our exhibition to a different audience and hopefully generate more business for our practice. While at the expo, we took the opportunity to explore the unique site and learn about the various design moves, construction techniques and material palettes which have been used. I mean, I imagine each one's going to sort of weather slightly differently, so this patchwork thing will sort of remain, whereas the others are perhaps going to maintain so be consistent, perhaps, in the weather, whereas this, this might be a bit more patchwork. I think as a holiday house, we've, you're going to want to walk into something that's, mm. you know, warm and easy to... We were just joined by um, somebody who lives locally in Inverness, um, but she happens to have a house on Mull that she's doing. She'd uh, come to the Expo earlier in the week and um, looked around but then she'd heard that we were going to be here this weekend so she came back to have a chat with us. One of the main reasons I came to see them was because they were they seemed in the um, on the website and, and on the phone to be quite young and youthful and the whole ideas that we had was to get something that was youthful and a bit different from your bog standard house. The project itself is really exciting, it's a little uh, dilapidated stone house and she wants to make it good and turn it into a a bespoke um, holiday lets, especially for kind of young honeymoony couples. So it's a potentially really exciting mix of old and new. So we're going to sketch up a couple of ideas for her and hopefully meet up to discuss that in the future. It's a it's a derelict croft, so um, which is needing the roof taken off it and basically four walls and go from there. Um, but yeah, derelict. That will mean digging up the whole floor and sort of starting it, again, so oh, it's just to be aware that yeah. a, that, that'll be a cost. I completely came away with a completely new idea from what we'd, I'd gone in with, um, but a good idea hopefully, and yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll proceed um, along some lines that they thought up, so um, yeah, we'll, we'll go with it hopefully. Yeah, I think she was just keen to have a sort of fresh idea with it, wasn't she? Just a, a fresh approach, perhaps. Um, she worked with a few architects before, and I think for her part, just perhaps liked that we might be coming at it from a, a slightly sort of newer angle. New um, yeah, about yeah, exactly. About problems. Yeah, and, and, and potentially in this instance, not sort of being an architect from the island and sort of it's going to the, the, the habit and the tradition of doing just something the same way. That actually, we might just come in with a completely blank page. Um, she seems quite excited about that, and so are we. I mean, we had an architect that did a house for us, but it's just a bit of you know just having fresh new ideas, which I don't think. You know, architects that have been um, running for ages and ages may not have the same sort of outlook as these guys, and that's that's why I like them. The concept is something that we've already come up with. We don't sort of have to work hard to think, oh, you know, God, what are we can, how are we going to do this? How are we going to give her what she wants um, for this project? I think we, we've already crossed that bridge. It's just an exercise of of making it sort of work, isn't it? For, this, for her particular. Building. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a sort of put the bits and pieces in the, in the right area, um, which is it's great. It's just the type of project that we, we want to be involved with at this stage. It, it does everything that we want to be doing, that makes it old and new, and potentially getting into crafting a really nice sort of piece of architecture. This is the first day of our weekend here. Um, we obviously didn't know what to expect over the course of it, but from the, the first part of our first day we can say that it's much busier than we expected. There's a lot uh, broader kind of cross-section of the community here than we expected, and there's lots of really interesting people with really interesting questions. So uh, let's just hope that that lasts for the rest of the weekend. Can I give you a wee flyer for an exhibition that we've got on today? Okay. It's just upstairs in uh, plot 11.3 uh -huh. here, uh -huh. where a new architect's practice was set up a year ago today, so it's... Uh, all about you. Really? Yeah, I was talking to one of Oh, really? Yeah, you, 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 you get That's someone right. there who's uh -huh. a real fan. Really? All right. Uh, yeah. Well, it's our first birthday, which is why we're going around with cakes, so help so. yourselves. Well, we will. Well, well, and, uh, yeah, thank we've, you. We've, well, I hope it's going well. Hi, thanks a lot. So, so. In terms of the surgery... Yeah. Earlier on today, um, a couple of people came round and... Mike spoke to them about what they were here for, and it turned out they actually wanted a. They actually do have a sort of building project they wanted to speak to, so they went away. 
and they brought back a few sort of drawings and things for us to look at and we've just spent half an hour or so just talking about their potential project. It's really exciting, um, it's in Aberdeenshire, there's a, a sloping site, there's an old hill fort at the top, there's a forest on it and they were just looking about how they can potentially build a new house on that, on that, on that site. At the end of our first year in practice, we have developed a varied client base and a number of exciting projects to work on. Tyree has given us a unique built environment and offered us the opportunity to design buildings which simultaneously respect the past and look to the future. Taking part in Scotland's first housing expo has given us a wealth of experience working in a different environment and the opportunity to showcase our work on a national scale. In the years to come, we hope to continue to grow as a practice and as architects by working on projects which excite us.